Hey everyone, in this session I am going to demonstrate how we can split a single column to multiple rows and then these rows to multiple columns inside the Power Apps. So now let me first explain you the real life business case for this session. So let's say for an example this is my simple value column over here where I have entities and entities value available over here like personal name, then position, country, region etc. Now, First, I want to uh, split this value with the star and pipeline and after that, I want to convert this particular rows into columns. So for that, what I'm doing is first I'm splitting this value column with the rows like this where I have entities and entity values and after that, I will be dividing this entity and entity value as a separate column like this. So we are going to perform the same thing during this session. So stay connected with me. And if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Let's move over to the demo part. So here I have a collection of entities and entities values splitted by star and pipeline. Now, first of all, let's convert this value to the multiple rows. For that, what we are doing is, let me just take a button over here insert and button and I'm showing you how we can do that. I'm adding one button over here and now I want to split that collection. So to split the collection and store that value into one collection, I'm taking clear collect. Inside clear collect, I will add one uh, collection name. Let's say, let me add here a collection candidate info. Now I want to use a split function over here. So I need to write here split. Inside the split, I want to use the uh, collection. I want to pass a text. So I am passing first of collection that is resp response dot value and second parameter of split is the splitting value. So I want to pass star and pipeline. So this is my formula where I have splitted my response value with the star and pipeline. Now let's check the output. Let me just click on this button. Now let's check the collection candidate info. I'm going to collection and I'm going to uh, candidate info. So you can see the result like this. Correct. Now we want to split this particular result into different columns. So how we can do that? Now for that what we need to do here is let me just add one more button over here. We need to use a concept of add columns first and last functions. So I believe you are aware about the add columns function inside the power apps. So now for that what we need to do here is let me just add my formula over here first. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new collection that is candidate entities. Inside that I'm adding add columns inside the collection that I have prepared in the earlier stage that was candidate info. Inside the candidate info, I want to create two different columns, one for entity and one for entity value. So I am passing this two as a column value and inside that I am passing, I am splitting the result column again with the pipeline. So first of split result and passing the pipeline like this and here I am passing split function and I am using first n function. So basically this is useful when you have more than two values associated with your row. So let's say what I'm uh, what I uh, what I'm trying to say here is let's say for an example this is my candidate info and now here I have only uh, entity and entity values but maybe there is a possibility that you have another uh, pipeline over here and you have some another values like this like over here so at that time you need to uh, use first n function and then last function to fetch the proper value from that particular row but here i have only two values so you can use simply first and last function but 
so here i am using generalized formula where i am using last function and inside that i am using first and function so first and will return first two values and from those first two values i am getting the last value as a result so this is simple so now let's uh, let me just uh, click on that and let's create a collection that is candidate entities so let me just go to the collection and i have collection entities candidate entities and here i have entity entity value and result right so this is very simple and very straightforward so this is how we can easily split a single column to multiple rows and then multiple rows to multiple column values hope this is clear for you now and one more thing i want to add here that these formulas are available to my github account you can directly download those formulas from there and you can test your data according to that if you have any question related to this concept you can add your comments in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on all social media platforms like facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily whatsapp notification from your number just click on this link this will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye